the real abuse actually, which surprised me, came from uh, the Labour Party, to tell you the truth. Because what shocked me when I came down was the Tories could not have been nicer. They were all so polite. The first time we met, if yeah. you recall, was the 2015 yeah. general yeah. election in which you were elected and before you were elected and we came out on the campaign trail mm -hmm. with you. It was quite an interesting day, I think, you know, knocking on doors and... Uh, you were you were yep. taking on Douglas Alexander. Of course, you won. And you go to the House of Commons, and you're what they call, and I, I bet you don't like this, the baby of the house. Yep. But that's what they call it, the yep. youngest mm. MP. How old were you? Tw Twenty. Twenty. Let us come together. Let us be that opposition. Let us be that signpost of a better society. Ultimately, people are needing a voice. People are needing help. Let's give them it. And now you're the deputy leader of the party at Westminster. It's a journey, isn't it? What, yeah. how, I mean, it's a big question, but what's that been like? It's all downhill for here, you know. I've peaked too soon. <laughs> what, was the, what was the start of that journey like? Being so young, and, and I don't mean to be—I yeah. really don't mean to be. No, of um, course uh, you're not patronising. Patronising, no, no, but not it's a—you know—it's unusual. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I, honestly, I mean, the answers that I gave when I was twenty uh, were true. It was a case that. I became impassioned by the independence referendum. I was, you know, knee deep in policy and politics. And of course we lost the referendum. And I thought, you know, we've not put in this amount of work for things to just go back to the way they were. This has to change. Um, and people were encouraging me to put my, my name forward. And eventually I, I thought, I can't argue with them anymore. They're winning the argument. But when you, so got, to, but when you got here yeah. to Westminster, yeah. How were you treated? Uh, <laughs> it was it was a mixture, to tell you the truth. W um, did people patronise you? Oh God, I yes. Not not just because of being young, but because you're a woman uh, in Westminster as well. Within your own party? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Um, but in what I, way? Just like that, pa patronising or undermining or. You know, saying things or doing things that they would never do to an older male uh, like, well, like colleague. What? You know, just whether it's undermining or being rude or, you know, leaving you out of things or deliberately not giving you the full pick. You know, just... Your colleagues. Uh, this is politics. No, but these are your <laughs> colleagues you're talking about. Well, not any current po not any current colleagues, I should say. And it was very minute. The the real abuse actually, which surprised me, came from uh, the Labour Party, to tell you the truth. Because what shocked me when I came down was the Tories could not have been nicer. They were all so polite, you know, holding doors open. Good morning. How are you? You know, and Did that, um, that change your perception of because you know. Plenty of people yeah. who are political opponents of the Conservatives will be pretty outspoken about them. That's the no, nature of politics. I've heard you being pretty tough-thumping about them. No, just because you are very smiley and polite as you tell me that you don't think I should have certain rights doesn't make it any less horrific, you know. I can appreciate... Uh, you know, I can talk to anybody. I, I can, as long as folk treat you with respect. But fundamentally, when we're in there, we're talking about politics that affects everybody's lives, so I, I think there's a very high bar, which a lot of members, mainly Conservative, don't really meet. 